Ahoy hoy. Basically, we're coming up to two years since I did How To Be Stormzy. You know, two years since I became a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> Part-time. Unemployed, many would say. And I thought it'd be good to look at Stephen Trice before that sketch, you know, because I've been doing this for ages. You know, way before I was making videos in parks with my mates. I was making videos in parks with my mates. Right. That's one of the better videos I've made, to be honest. The cameras in my BMI may have improved, but the acting hasn't. Right. I've also got another video from that time period, but is that fucking embarrassing? It's going at the end, all right? You're gonna have to wait to watch that. So anyway, we're going back to 2013, when I first started Stephen Tries, and I just made generic videos, you know, trying to become a YouTuber. Uh, I think this first one is the Scotch Bonnet Chili Challenge. And I spotted one of these bad boys. Hello. Hey, what is that creature? I would look out of place in the film Train Spotting. Jesus Christ. And if you think my editing's bad now, look at this. Uh, this is called a Scotch Bonnet. I know it sounds like something that Susan Boyle would have on her head. Got some facts. I just just get off the punchline. Who needs it? I look like I've sucked off Cliff of the Big Red Dog. And after that great success, I made another chilly video. I want to swallow it before it starts to burn. That's what she said. Water doesn't help. Well, I've got his, his E45 cream that that moisturises and soothes your skin. After that video, I realised, hold on, I'm not entertaining. I need other people to help me. So that's when I got Ryan and Tom involved. Hello there, and welcome to uh, another chilly challenge. And this video was on the channel for a while. You know, the hardcore steetards out there will remember that. Oh, my hands, my fucking bed. <sighs> so I've got. <laughs> I'm sleeping, man. Obviously. <sighs> <laughs> I just want to take a moment to say sorry. I don't drink during your apology, Ryan. <laughs> I'm a disgrace! Now for the final chilli video, I did the Carolina Reaper. That's the World Toys Chilli. And I did that with Max. Max, how are you feeling? A bit nervous. Uh, I hate spicy food. That is by far the worst thing I've ever done. Uh, except for this. Tracy Beaker. This chilli really affected me. I was having a breakdown. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. I hope Max hasn't died. And at one point I became a philosopher. Why do people make these chilies? Why do people plant these seeds? The most annoying thing is, once we shut off the cameras, Max threw up twice, I nearly passed out in the toilets, and I just lay on the couch crying. You know, all the entertaining stuff, we turned it off. <laughs> Oh no! But I didn't just do chilli videos, I also made original videos, like the accent challenge. It's Ryan Long. Hello! I did this challenge video because I'm quite good at accents, and Ryan... Ryan's not! I'm from New York! New York! You go to Tesco, but I go to Asda. I'm from Birmingham, Manchester United, dang. For a back second crack! <laughs> Can you not turn up from Liverpool? We then made a video about snooker, you know, because that's always on the trending page. And oh, welcome to another crazy episode of Stephen and Ryan getting up to all sorts. Mental! The stupid thing was, the ball would always go in. The table was that wonky it made Anne McPartland look stable. What? Come on. Next up on top of the flops, it's my Scottish referendum video. Oh, satire! Now there was a big voting scandal with this, and there was videos of people fixing the ballots, so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon. I thought I was so clever doing this, you know, I was expecting a call from Mock the Week or have I got news for you? Nothing. Now this is where things start to evolve a bit, you know, I was working with Tom and Ryan now at university and we made a sitcom called Babe Station. Yesterday I turned on the TV set to see one of our babes dressed as Pudsy Bear doing a Sudoku. <laughs> I did it for the children, Keith. No comment, it was weird. <laughs> Babe Station could be so much more. Babe Station has been a staple of British society long before you arrived. And I don't see the need for that to change anytime soon. But Keith, I'm not satisfied seeing a babe holding a phone or a vibrator. <laughs> I want to see them holding a BAFTA. I thought I told you to go out and find a new babe. Or are you too afraid to talk to women? <laughs> I think we know how to talk to the ladies, thanks. <laughs> well, do something. <laughs> we won't let you down, sir. If you want to watch the whole thing on like Stephen tries less, then just let me know, alright? I can whack it up. After that we made a sketch show, you know, with like educating, eating and the bake off. We also did a misunderstandings character. Um wasn't the best. You know, we did Come Dive With Me, Catch of the Day, Rasta Chef, and my personal favourite. Now our green pepper today is Jason. How are you feeling, Jace? Quietly confident. Fantastic stuff. 
And what is it you'll be making for us? Well, today I'm going to be making a vegetable and tofu stir fry. Oh, sounds delicious. I'm looking forward to that. Now it's time to meet his competitor. Our red tomato today is Gavin. I thought you said ready, steady, fuck. I really messed up this time. It's clever comedy. You'll probably have to re-watch that. But at this point, we had the foundations, you know, how to write and film a sketch show. And that's sort of where Stephen Trice came from. Now, it'd be nice to end the video there, you know, in a poignant moment. But no, I promised something else. So we go back to 2007, when I was about 12 years, not stone. And I was, uh, I was a little bit lonely. Before you ask, yes, I did used to hum that teddy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. You know, maybe it's inspired you. Yeah, if a fucking loser like this can make it onto YouTube, anyone can. Now to play us out, it's Krista Berg. Lady and